Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun video, we're going to be giving an updated collection video of my Victorinox Swiss Army knives. Now, you guys know I like to collect these very popular knives that are known the world over, and there's so many varieties and so many styles that you just like with Pokemon. You know, you got to catch them all once you get that collector's bug going, you know. I have already done one collection video showcasing the original set that I had that really sparked my idea for collecting them, and if you guys missed that video, I will have it linked down in the description box below this video, as well as one of those info cards at the very end of this video. Now, a Swiss Army knife is always on me. It is my essential EDC, my everyday carry, as people like to say and ever since I've done that first video some time has passed and I've picked up more knives which is what this video is about as well as some other items but I still reach for my tried and true two Swiss Army knives and that is the iconic Swiss Champ knife it's one that is packed with a ton of tools as well as my Fieldmaster which was my original Swiss Army knife that I picked up back in 2017 and you guys know why I went with it over the Huntsman model was because it has the Phillips head screw in it as opposed to the corkscrew which the iconic Huntsman has but these are still the two knives that I reach for constantly if I am wearing jeans or cargo shorts I will carry the Swiss Champ now that we are getting into warmer weather and I wear thinner basketball shorts, it's not practical to carry this heavy Swiss champ, so I will, of course, carry the Fieldmaster. But I use these all the time, and one of them are always on my person when I go out. Now, before we get into the updated collection, I pick up a lot of knives secondhand. I picked up some when we took my mom to the beach for her birthday. I go to a variety of thrift stores and antique stores. I just get the love of those from my grandparents. But with picking things up secondhand, hand you want to make sure they are clean so one thing I have picked up is one of these Magnasonic ultrasonic cleaners you know and I got this one off of Amazon and you can get these at big box stores I think I've seen them at Walmart but the thing is those will only take one kind of solution the reason I went with this one and you can see it's big enough to hold a lot of jewelry and even a lot of the knives if you want to clean multiples the reason I went with this one is because you can use basic dish soap in this one as well as the ultrasonic cleaner solution that you can purchase and I've cleaned all of the knives in the original collection I haven't cleaned these yet I wanted to show them to you guys how I got them as they were before I dip them in here and clean them but I've been using the dish soap and some hot water and it has worked magnificently and I highly encourage this if you're going to be picking up knives second hand because you don't know what kind of life they've had before they fell into your hands in your collection so really really cool when I took mom to the beach there is a flea market down there called Hudson's Flea Market in Surfside which is a little farther than Myrtle Beach and I picked up several knives and I got a bundle deal on them I picked up two classic SD knives to add to the collection. These were $10 for both of them and I think you could even bundle more like three, four, or five together and he would sell them to you cheaper but I wanted one to have on each set of my keys as well as clipped on all my bags. You guys know I take my cameras everywhere and I just like to have a nice one clipped onto the bag just to kind of represent what I like to collect as it were. And these little stands here I have 3D printed. They fit in the toothpick slot and you can see here if I can balance my hand how they stand kind of on an angle and they will hold knives up to the size of the Huntsman for those curious that's a free thingiverse file and I still have one here that I haven't used you can see how it is angled there it doesn't take long to 3D print those but I got those two classic SDs and I got this Alox what is it called companion and it is the smooth alox I had no idea about this I found this for five dollars in a grab bin at the flea market the other two knives came from someone else but it also has as noted the key ring here and it's got the little knife it's got the fingernail file the scissors and it's also a special one that is stamped on the back you know these are always unique to pick up and find and I again I haven't cleaned these and with the metal scales here it does not have none of the scale tools like the toothpick the tweezers the pen or anything like that and when I pick up a knife and I'm not sure what it is or what type or style it is I will always go to the reddit pages or the Facebook groups and I'll post them and everyone said this was a Alox a silver Alox companion with the included key ring there so that was another one I got on my mom's birthday trip and I even picked up I believe this is called the midnight manager and this is a really versatile tool I seen a guy on YouTube review this and I just had to have it and I got a great deal on it it has the ink pen there it doesn't have the scale tools but then it also has a 
you can see that on my hand, a little light. And I don't know why it's red. I don't know if someone modified this. But one thing I really noticed about the Midnight Manager was when I started messing with it was how much the blade had been sharpened. It's sharpened about down to nothing. So that just shows that the knife wasn't in a collector's case or anything. It was actually used as it was intended to be used. So really, really neat. And then the last knife I got on that beach trip was the waiter. And for all the knives I just showed you, I paid, I think it was 50 bucks for all of them. So I got great deals on all of them. I know this one here, the waiter, sells for like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon by itself. And then the Midnight Manager, I think it's $45 for that small knife. But you have the waiter here with just the big blade, the can opener, and the corkscrew. And it even has the scale tools, toothpick, and tweezer, as well as a little pin hole for a small pin. I'm sure I will put one in there after I clean everything. And then I went to a thrift store and I got this. I got two more knives before I show you that one. I'll show you. I got a a Celador, excuse me, Bantam model, model real right here. And it is really cool. It just has the big blade and the can opener and wire stripper there. And it doesn't even have any scale tools on it. And it's another one that has something stamped on the back. So really neat. I got that one. And this one here, which is called the Victorinox Forester, I got both of these for $20, you know. So I'm always on the hunt for a good deal, you know. And this is my very first Swiss Army knife that has the bigger blade, you know. It's got the saw blade, the can opener, the Phillips head, the bottle opener, and then the big blade here. So, you know, this is way bigger than the standard blade, you know, like on that one. So that was my very first model like this and I believe another model I really really want is the Skipper I believe it's this size as well if I'm not mistaken so really really cool to get that you know and it's got the lock in blade on it to where you have to move the little bar aside to close it and it has that snap that Victorinox is known for now I went to a flea market that's right down the road from me, about 10 minutes down the road, and it's only open on Saturday and Sunday. It's got very weird hours, but there was a bin of knives that had $5 marked on it, and I got this, and this is not a Victorinox knife. This is a Winger knife, or Winger knife, ever has pronounced. I know Victorinox bought them, and it was beat up. It was decrepit. I had to actually use... Um, a metal piece to actually open everything and work it again I haven't cleaned nothing I will after this video I'll go to cleaning everything but I posted this on the reddit page and they said this was a winger colonel model with the rare dog leg there can opener so again I hope I can get this repaired and brought back to its full glory I believe a magnifying glass was supposed to go there but I said are you sure you just want five dollars for this knife and the guy said yeah so I give it to him so this knife here of course has been used and abused so I hope I can put new scales on it and get everything back into working order something else I got and now you guys know people send me stuff. Now, the next two knives and the final two knives I'm going to show you before I wrap up the video were sent to me. One of them did not want to be mentioned, and I understand that. They wanted to remain anonymous. Well, actually, both people did, so I'm going to respect that. Just know that I truly appreciate it. I know they watch my videos, and I'm sure when they see the thumbnail for this video and they see these knives laying there, they're going to watch it out of curiosity, but I am going to respect how they feel about everything. But uh, one of the knives that came in the mail was this one here. And this is a Victorinox Ranger. So really, really cool when it's brand new, nice and shiny. Of course, it's got a little bit of sawdust from sitting on the table saw. And what I really love about this model here is it is a smaller model that has the file on it. I used to file on my Swiss Champ all the time to file my nails or sand the edge of something real quickly you know so I'm happy to now have in the collection a knife that has the file that's not as bulky as the Swiss Champ you can see it's just about the same size as the Huntsman or the Fieldmaster so I can see this going into my rotation for everyday carries you know along with the Fieldmaster and the Swiss Champ and then the final knife I want to show you when my buddy came down from out of state he came a long way last October and he actually gave this knife to me right Right after I posted the other video of my collection so I've been very eager to show this knife to you and check this out it is still in the original box here you know it's got that nice burgundy color it slides out just like that and also 
it's got the original before I show you the knife it's got the original guide in it so that's real cool and it's not beat up or anything it was what I call new old stock so it's got all the stuff how to use it how to care for it and everything like that and then here you see the knife itself and this is a knife I will probably never use this will be a collector's item because that's what it is to me especially with the friend that give it to me as well as the Ranger but I can see the Ranger being used and there you see it's got the Marlboro Marlboro stamp on it excuse me and I found that these are highly sought after I believe there was three different versions released of this knife and from what I can find on it this is called the Outdoorsman Marlboro edition so really really cool again I haven't even opened all the tools on it because it's a sentimental knife to me like the Huntsman that I sent off that was my late grandfather's you know and had it repaired that's still in the collector's case but I'm really happy with this I'm having a ball collecting these and now every time I go in a thrift store or antique mall I will of course go to the glass cases because that's usually where knives are displayed to keep small hands away from them but I'm having fun with them there is two knives that I really really won't I just cannot justify the price of it and one of those is the skipper as I mentioned earlier I believe it's the same size as this knife here it's a nice dark blue I believe it's got a ship's wheel or compass stamped on it and I just want that for that maritime and pirate flair that I know you know it just be something cool to have as a conversation piece and another one I want that is the same size as the Huntsman and Fieldmaster is called the Mountaineer and the only difference between the Fieldmaster or the Huntsman and the Mountaineer is it does not have the saw blade it replaces it with that ever so popular and handy file and I would love to have a knife this small with that file on it of course there's also people out there that customize their knives and me and another friend that I got into collecting Swiss Army knives we do want to um, go in and mod a knife you know and just put in what we want on it of course for me an essential for every Swiss Army knife is going to be the big blade the bottle opener the scissors and if I could add something else to it it would be the file the metal file and saw and also the pliers I think those are very essential tools especially for me being a tinkerer and everything and of course maybe the inline Phillips that is not like the T Phillips here on the Fieldmaster but that's just my thoughts but really really cool I'm having a lot of fun collecting these and now that I've shown them all to you on camera my friends I will go through and I will deep clean everything with the ultrasonic cleaner I showed you so really having fun collecting everything you guys know I love to collect a variety of items but really really cool I hope you have enjoyed the video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all my social medias as well as a link to the original um, collection video will be linked down in the description box below this video that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon